All right, so everyone talks about port matching the intake manifold onto the head, but nobody really shows exactly all the steps. So we're gonna show it here. We cut the template based on the head. This way we can port match the intake manifold onto the head itself perfectly. And here you can see it now. We've lined up, we we'll scribed the line, the offset between the head and the manifold. So now we're gonna port match the intake manifold to match the head. So let's go here. We're working on it, getting it all matched perfectly. So yep, this one is something that you gotta check out. It's gonna be good. And we actually dynoed this head in the intake manifold here. Yep, let's go. Now, here's a ported B16 PR3 head. And now, the reason why we get to match port this is because we cut the intake gasket of off from a cardboard. We have a video of that in the members only section, how we cut it exactly how it is in the ports. You can check, check that out. Here, we put this on the head. Now, to, you can see here, look, sorry about that. It's perfect, just like the head itself, right? It's perfectly aligned. The cut is just like the intake ports. So now, the way we make sure this is aligned on the intake manifold is like this here. Wait, let's tilt this up. Okay, we put the intake manifold, make sure it's leveled correctly, and then we do the outline. So we, we make sure we cut the intake gasket slightly bigger than the flange. This way we can do the outline like this. Now we remove it, and now here you can see, now you can align the intake gasket based on the back side of the intake flange. It's gonna align perfectly just like it is it's on the head, right? So now let's check this out. Now here is a fully ported ITR intake manifold. This is why on the last final inch by the intake flange, I don't touch it because that gives me an allowance when you port match the intake manifold onto the head because if you port that, it's gonna get bigger than the head. Now here we've inked up the flange. Now we install the intake gasket. Now we're gonna align the, the scribe that we did, the outline on the back side. This way it's well aligned in here. And now we've scribed it and let me show you guys up close. You can see there's a mismatch, right? So that's what you port match. Sorry about that. Here. Wait, let me hear. Let me show you here. Here you can see there we scribe the line so that we can port match it perfectly. And even here on here, it's visible. You can see there's a line there. All right. Now we're going to remove the intake gasket and we port match this. So let's go to the porting bench now. No, wait. No, sorry. Let me show you guys without the intake gasket. You can see the difference is here. There, runner number one, then two, and then three. See, they're, they're not all the same offset. There's one is on the left side, one is the right, one is both. So now, this time is for real. We go to the porting bench now because now we can see the alignment so we can know where we port match. Okay, now here we are. Yes, now it's all ready. You can see that's where we start. Now we start with the carbide. This way it's gonna be a lot quicker and we, there's no room for, you know, to overshoot. Okay, now here we go with the 80 grip. Yes, to get all the rest smoothed out, just like the port itself of the runners into the flange or onto the flange. This way the, it's consistent and the transition is smooth and flawless or stay seamless, all right? There you go. Okay, now, now we gotta invert this so that we can work on the rotor floors. Okay, here, let's go here. Yes, it's 80 grid. Okay, we gotta time lapse this. Oh, we, they moved, sorry. There, still 80 grid. Then we do all of it uh, up to like, let's say two or three inches inward because that's gonna where it's gonna meet where we parted from the other side. Okay. Now we do a few more and then 120 grit and then wash this up. Now let's go to the bench. Okay, now after washing up the intake manifold, you can see here it's all cleaned up. It is all fully ported from the runner entry all the way to the intake flange towards the head. So now it's perfect, right? Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, wait. 
let us show you with the intake gasket onto the intake manifold itself. As you can see, if you look close, there's no more ridge or there's no more. This, the line that we scribed on is already gone. So it's actually port matched really good. Yes, sir. So this intake gasket is actually matched perfectly to the head now. And we used it to match the intake manifold. Here's the head, it's all finished up. This is for a B16A project that we're gonna build or we're finishing and then we'll die now. The head is actually done, so we're, this is just needs to be installed and fully assembled. There's a few dirt there, all right. See, the intake ports are done and finished. Wait, let's put the intake gasket there. Let's show you guys. See, it's perfectly matched. And again, like I said, at the members only section, we got a video of how we cut this intake gasket step by step. This way you can do that for yourself or you know, for your next project. That might help, so you guys have to be a member there to check it out. And here it is, the head and the intake manifold all done, all port matched. And the thing is, as you notice, we cut our own intake gasket. Because if you buy an intake gasket from a store and whatnot, when you put it on the head, you will notice it's mismatched or misaligned. So if you port match the head onto the intake manifold, that's the direction of the injector. It points down to the back of the valves. Okay, like I said, if you port match the head onto the intake gasket that you bought off a store, it's misaligned. So you're misaligning the ports and then you're gonna match the intake manifold to the misaligned ports. So that's why we don't really call it gasket match. We call it port matching because the gasket, we cut it based from the head. And as mentioned right at the beginning, we made a video about 10 months ago about port matching and a lot of the misconceptions about gasket matching or port matching, why it's, why it's called this, why it's called that, and also what we do to help you guys get the clear picture of what, it, what port matching is or what port matching does and what gasket matching does not do and it's a confusion so hey you know that one is worth watching so just to avoid misconceptions because a lot of people will say gasket matching is okay yep this is also gasket matching but the gasket is perfectly aligned to the head that we did or that we use so there's a little bit of a difference right yes the head is all fitted and all ready it's starting to look really good so the B16A project is going to be really fun because we're going to dyno it. Here you can see we align it there. Yes, and the intake manifold, the ITR manifold we ported, it's all done. You can actually check the build or we have a video of the ITR intake manifold porting. You can check it out on the playlist below. And of course, this head and manifold went to the to a B16 and it's all finished up. We got the street tune it and of course eventually here now we got the dyno it and man it made over 180 wheel horsepower on just ITR camps. That's crazy, right? And so if you'd like, you can just stick it here.